Good afternoon everyone, hope you're all doing well. In this video, what I'm gonna be doing is making a recruitment website for my new agency. It's gonna be free for me to make. In terms of the design, I'm using a free design um, for the website and all I'm gonna be paying for is my hosting and domain. I'm recommending Hostinger because it's cheap, it's very, very reliable and in terms of what they do as offers, they've got a 99 pence offer at the moment. So it's 99p per month. Um, so it's dead cheap. Buy it now. I think they've got the offer until um, the end of the year, I think. I'll put a link in the description if you want to purchase it. But this is literally getting started with less than £10. You're going to have your agency set up. They also, if you buy a year, I think you you they throw in a free domain, which I've registered. And what we're going to do is we're going to set up the website, hopefully in a quick time. So literally, all you have to do is copy this video, follow the steps, purchase Hosinger, get your domain. I click the main, and I just typed in my name, and it gave me a free domain with that as well. So what I'm going to do, this is a totally unscripted video. <laughs> I'm probably going to encounter a few problems, a few errors. I may have to stop the video at some point because sometimes the DNS takes a while to set up and I've just registered it literally 10 minutes ago, yeah? So all in all, let's get started. So I've got my domain. I will have to manage that, but I want to set up my hosting at the moment. And let's go through this. And we've got our existing name, yeah? So we've got PhysioRec and we want to make a new website and what we're going to do is we're going to select WordPress and let's put email address in here let's make a password and let's go continue right which do we prefer um, let's just what are we going to select I don't need a template because we have one we're already going to go for and let's finish the setup so it's literally that simple now what WordPress is WordPress is basically the software the function that helps the website run you can post jobs on it you can do whatever WordPress is pretty much a blogging platform now what it's doing now it's uploading the files however with WordPress it's very easy to customize it's open source I've got a theme which I'm going to show you and we're just going to upload it now um, so this is a very cost-effective way I've used the theme I'm going to run on my agency um, that I currently have as well so this is a very small niche agency I'm setting up and hopefully we can show you the finished product after this without having to pause the video so it's saying it's taking three minutes so we we'll let that load what I'm what I've got here is the job scout theme and I've just put my email address in and you can download it so it's going to zip file it there um, I don't know if we can show a demo of what it's going to like look like. It's got a premium version. However, the free version is pretty similar. I know a few of you have set this up. Um, it looks great. You can post jobs on it so you actually get you know the ball rolling. People actually can apply through this website as well, which is great. So they can click apply a job. You can add videos, pictures. So it's pretty, pretty decent, you know, salary, location, etc. So it's actually free, um, believe it or not. So it's pretty easy to do. So let's let's go to our let's go to our dashboard. So that's obviously parked. And possibly we may have to pause the video at this stage, see when it gets up and running. And this is our dashboard. So what we want to do is we want to find our DNS server our server name domain and what we want to do is we want to set up the DNS so as you can see it takes you know 24 hours um, So that's pretty much done, I believe. Let's go back to our hosting panel and let's just double check. We may have to go into manage domain and we want to see where on earth we find a DNS. 
So I believe it's already linked and it's just a matter of time. And let's put it into a incognito and it's the same thing. So we may have to wait, pause the video and we're gonna show you how to set up the website after. Hello guys and we're back. Literally it took five minutes and then it's all set up. So what we've got now is our website which is hooked up to our DNS um, which does it automatically with Hostinger which is great, very user friendly and we've got in here our dashboard. So what we want to do is we want, this is what the website will look like once you've set it up. Literally took two minutes. We want to type forward slash WordPress dash admin. This brings us to our admin panel and what we want to do is we want to just put our password and we want to log in. From now on you can do everything from here so you don't need to have access to your hosting. Now what I want to do is I want to just open it up so we can see and refresh what it looks like. Now we've got a section that says themes and what the theme is basically the design. So we want to click add new and we want to upload a theme. So guys what we're going to do now is we're going to install um, the theme which is job scout and let's install this once more see what we can get told you it's going to be a very very messy video hopefully we can have everything sorted now and there's a few things we want to run through so what we're doing now is we're installing um, yeah, so yeah we want to replace that and I uploaded the old theme so it's gonna hopefully pick up our new design which is that and we've got our plugins all installed so we're just gonna have a look at the website see what it looks like now so it's pretty much the blanket theme we're gonna get rid of all these on the side shortly and then we're gonna import the demo now and um, so what we have to do we've got that installed and we need to change our hosting to this otherwise it won't install the demo so let's open this up side by side so what I've done is I've gone into PHP configs you can search it here or it can be on your dashboard right here and if you scroll down you're gonna find it here and what we're gonna do it was going to make sure that matches up so let's just put this to the side and make sure it matches up so PHP options and we want to max execution time needs to be 360 memory limit needs to be that much max post size 60 that will do maximum upload is yeah perfect and then once that's done it takes a few minutes so we may have to run through the old demo so what we've got is the demo import which I've picked up from here and I've downloaded it they've got a brilliant video which you can watch and go through off that and let's go back to where we were and then we're going our demo has been imported successfully which is great and as you can see our website looks like a recruitment website so that's wonderful that's exactly what we want to see we got there in the end and now we want to customize so we just click customize and what we're going to do is we're going to change a few things on here we can do it in real time so we know exactly what is going to change so you might want to change this part and um, so you might just want to call it See, I've started an agency and I don't know how to spell physio rec. Yeah. And we're just going to change our title. So we might put um, physio, physio only recruitment. 
as our, as our sort of tagline so anyone lands on the page they know exactly what it is um, aim high so I don't know what we're gonna do we can change the images on here as well so you can just you know click add new or you can hide it so it's just white background um, you can also add a video on here so I don't know if you've seen my other website it's a video playing here which I usually change it to and um, there's a banner section as well which you can get rid of totally if you like and just have it as job postings so it's totally up to you maybe we'll leave it like this um, for now and what we want to do is we want to click publish and then we're going to go over to the website right here there we have it so the website is looking like this so we've got all these these things that we don't really need um, off of that so what I want to do is I want to take this bit off I'm going to take that off I might keep a blog part and then you can have testimonials which we can go through on here and change so we've got all the sections here so if you just want to go to the front page settings we've got a banner section which we've gone through we can take off the jobs part but I would definitely recommend it um, you might want to change the title to latest jobs or something latest jobs perfect and a call to action part you know get in touch you might have a contact us part there I'm going to show you how to change this link later on in the video and we'll go through a few things there so if you want to take that off all you do is you just click that part and it takes whatever it is off um, on there you might want to go through the client testimonials so you can write I don't know you can edit it so John Smith John Smith and he's a I don't know HR manager HR manager and then you can just write in look this is a wonderful company I worked with etc you can edit and then publish that's perfect so that's that's all done um, if you want to add an image to that you can obviously add John's picture there um, by all means make it realistic or you can just take that section off if you want totally up to you um, you've got this part here where you can change your logo and then you can change this section self-explanatory sort of drag and drop I sometimes take this these parts off as well so it's totally up to you how you want to edit it pretty much pretty easy you can you know add companies here as well if you'd like nothing else needs being to be done but I'm going to show you how to link menus and pages now because that's very important um, and you might want to take off the the jobs part you might want to just say jobs and what you want to do with the URL it's going to turn this into a button as well so what we want to do first is we want to make a page now a page will be for example it'll be in pages so there'll probably be a job section here um, let's have a look and we want to see what that page looks like so this is going to be where all the jobs are going um, off of that so permalink and it goes to jobs forward slash two so these are all the jobs that people can search so we want to take this and we want to turn it here and we want to click publish so that that button has now changed to this so if someone clicks that so if we publish it and we refresh the page this should bring us to this page now so if we click jobs it brings it here I mean Hosinga is very very fast that is incredibly quick from loading that up um, so it looks professional it looks good now we want to take off these parts here because they're irrelevant we might just want a contact us part so people are on the jobs page um, I want to show you how to you know edit these parts as well um, and how to post the job shortly yeah I think that's pretty much that covered if we go to the menu part we want to click edit menu now this is the important part so we want to get rid of most of these where they have a drop down menu so the jobs part you might want to have you might want to take off um, that part because we don't want people posting jobs we just want people looking at jobs and we also want to get rid of job dashboard so for the jobs part what we want to do is we want to make sure that in the job section actually we've got jobs there so we don't need that part so we want to take that off now say for example we want to add a menu yeah and we want it to be 
let's call it and you want custom link so the custom link could be it takes you to whatever page you have on here so we might want a contact us page which we have so we're going to click that and we want to find a link here and that brings us to this page contact us yeah and we can copy that and we can just put it in here and it will say contact us add to menu and if we publish that here it is and we can just go back to the home page and then we've got a contact us part and it brings us to the contact us page if you want to edit this page you just click edit page and it's got a form attached to that so I think you need to go to the forms part which will be somewhere here we have to reinstall that plugin so I told you things will go wrong fatal error my god so we leave that for now um, but if you want to make a new page you can just do add page and you can add whatever page you want so if you want an employer section what you would do is you'll just have employer and this is about employers you can add links images and let's publish that and if we view the page that's here so it's it forward slash index employer and let's add that to the menu so what we're going to do is go back to the menu and we just click add new link and then employer employers add to menu publish and then we can go back to the home page and we've got an employer section so you want to eventually just delete all of these and then make whatever one so this is about employers what we put and now let's take these bits off the side and we can take these off at the top as well um, which I think may be in a different section that's fine we've got a secondary bit at the top so we've got products here so I want to see if we can just hide hide that completely can we yep cool so we just hit that completely that's perfect and we can go back off of this and then I'm going to show you how to take those bits off the side and then we're going to make a post <coughs> excuse me and then that should be pretty much done um, apologies messy messy video so we want to go to widgets and the widgets are all here so you just want to drag these off um, so let's take all of these off Yep, and that takes off the side. You just might want to have a search function and you might want to have a featured job post, which looks nice. So it would just show one listing and you just save that. So if someone goes to, let's say the employer page, it's got a featured job here, which is nice. And we've got a search function as well. So even on the contact us page, it will have a featured job, which you can change and select. So you can just change random and it will just make every one of these random every single time well it should nope it's not doing it anyway you get the idea so home brings us back to the home so now we want to post the job and let's go to the jobs listings and we've got all so if you want to delete all of these you know default ones you just go here and move to trash um, but you might want to change some of these so position wise we've got let's say we've got a Java dev and then you just put obviously the job description job dev description there and applications will come to this email address location company and you put the salary um, off of there as well and you just click publish so there are parts where you can add a picture category as well so you want to put a company logo you might want to just put your company logo and then just click publish it's going to look horrible because there's no picture no details but it should be on the page here 
once it's published so we've got our javascript row there and the reason is everything is here so obviously i didn't put location salary details whatever i put human resources so and that's pretty much it you've got your website play about with it fix it up that's pretty much all the function how to set it up it has been an incredibly painful video i'm very sorry but i trust you're going to have some some um value in this and it just sort of somehow if you watch it all it does give you a step by step how to actually set up a website so um glad i've done it we got there in the end one day i will make professional videos by all means use the link in the description i do get a small commission for it but i highly recommend it hosting are, are brilliant and if you've got any questions let me know